When the COVID vaccine hit the market, when the first doses became available, let's remember what the situation is. There were a few thousand people dying every day from COVID. If we, we could put that in context, like it's, it's a Pearl Harbor or a 9-11 happening every day. We know a Pearl Harbor level of casualties will happen tomorrow. And know this vaccine is available. And it became a humbling duty that we knew that optimizing the distribution of this vaccine would have this kind of consequences. It was not an overstatement that every incremental value we could do, every additional level of trust from the public, or providing the vaccine where it was the most needed, would have dramatic consequences due to these huge numbers. I feel there was an instant company-wide feeling of responsibility here. The vaccine manufacturers had done their part wonderfully and know it was our turn to do the best we could. I'm François Fressin. I'm the uh, head of COVID analytics at CVS. And in my normal job, I am um, I'm senior director of data science machine learning. The US will be well above 1 million casualties. So it's difficult to extrapolate from that, but it's clear that gaining a week, delivering to the right person one week earlier had direct impacts the supply for the vaccine was very limited. The demand obviously was very high. The COVID analytics team had a big role to play in determining how to distribute the vaccine in a way that was equitable and to do it efficiently as well. One of the benefits of that robot I had not realized initially was the fact that it's extremely transparent, like checking, making sure, approving that one of your colleagues has been a model that you can confidently share with leadership and trust entirely is quite an endeavor. And it completely changed when they just share the products with me and I, I'm able to see all the details and I'm not questioning them about what they did. I'm questioning them about how to improve it. Almost every modeling question could be asked with a time component. Like I think it applies to almost everything. Like if there's optimization, we'll still hold with tomorrow's conditions. Uh, and can we turn it into something that also predicts what will happen after? And in that sense, that robot provided like a tool that was not existing to my knowledge or that I've been looking for for maybe a decade, which is a real forecasting tool. The beautiful thing about machine learning is that it's still the same old question of the quest for truth, except it's been getting more complex with the size and the complexity of our data sets. But it's still the same question. Find the truth in what these numbers are telling you, which I think is a beautiful thing. Could never have imagined a couple years back that, that I would get to be a part of um, such an important initiative that you know has impacted so many people's lives. Fortunately, our generation didn't have a great war or a great recession. But having had the occasion to play a little role in one of the most important collective events of our life is something I'm grateful that I had the occasion to do at CVS.